So what we're going to do is we're going to get App Engine up and running. We're going to deploy a website to App Engine. First thing, go to Google Cloud, and then go to Google Cloud Platform, and then go to Products. And once you're at Products, you want to go to App Engine. Are you with me? And then once at App Engine, you want to choose uh, App Engine Docs, View App Engine Docs. And then these are the different languages that work on App Engine. So App Engine is uh, platform as a service. So there's infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Infrastructure is basically you're getting the machines and you got to lay everything down yourself, operating system, the whole deal. Platform as a service is a lot of that stuff's done for you, and there's even some code written, which you could take advantage of. So there's a standard environment, and there's the more flexible environment. The more flexible environment is going to be more towards uh, infrastructure as a service. This is more platform as a service. So click on, click on a view docs, and then we're going to do the quick start right here. And at quick start, we're going to download the SDK. So we'll click download the SDK. And you want the SDK for App Engine, and you're going to choose Go. And most likely, you'll get 64-bit. So get whichever one you want, download it. Here's the checksum if you want to run that. And check to make sure what was intended is what was received. And then we're going to have to set a path variable and make sure that we have the right version of Python installed. So download it and install it, and then we'll do path variables. So some people had to create an account and enter credit card information. And if you uh, experience that online and you don't want to do that, you could do Golang app engine uh, SDK. And it should take you to download and install the SDK, go, and then you just grab it right there. Well, you need the App Engine SDK. So this is the App Engine SDK. And when you go. down, huh? Yeah. Mine didn't go. Well, where was I before? You just didn't say go. No, it just said SDK. So before, I was. Mine was download the App Engine SDK for Go. So I was in the same spot. So when you get it down, you should have a Go App Engine SDK a zip folder. And I'm going to download this one just so we could see it. And uh, and then take that, and it'll, if you're on uh, Windows, put it just directly under your C drive. I'm going to open that. And um, if you're on Mac, I recommend taking it and just Command C. And then when you're in Finder, choose Go. And then go to Folder. And then in there, you can go forward slash user forward slash local and so I'm going to go to that folder and then I'm going to drop that Hang on, what's, can you just go back a second where did you I've copied it where do I take it to again where so you go to go go to folder and then type in user forward slash local forward slash user forward slash local forward slash and so now I'm right there and you can see here I have one that is an old one go app and then I'm gonna get rid of that here in a second I just wanna make sure that I'm not deleting something I need okay cool so that one's gone bye bye uh, and pause this so I had to remove that and I forgot my password, but now I found my password. So you're going to go to user local and then just paste in that folder. And so that folder is uh, hopefully still in memory. I'm going to paste it. And it's going to replace Go App Engine because I've been there before. So now I've dropped that folder right there. And if you don't see hidden files like this user file, you need to go to your terminal and enter this command right there. And I'll show you your hidden files. So you could have put that folder wherever you wanted to put it. 
But I like putting it in user local because that's where go is and uh, you know just keep it in the same spot. So now we are going to um, configure environment variables. So if you're on Windows, you have to go to uh, your little start area where you could search things down by your start button in the lower left corner. And I can show you that Windows search box. And uh, so you'll just go down to this area on your computer and you'll search for uh, environment variables. And then in there, inside environment variables, not Windows 7, and you'll see. Uh, You'll see that, and you'll click on environment variables maybe, but then you'll come into something like this. And down here under system variables, you'll choose to edit your path, and uh, you'll add to it with a semicolon um, your path to Go App Engine, which will be C colon, uh, what is it, backslash on Windows? Or forward slash? Backslash, backslash Go App Engine, or what App Engine Go, whatever it's called. So you'll add your environment variable for Windows, and for Mac, you will uh, do something like this, and and then here in my uh, root directory, lsla, I can look, and I have a bash rc and a bash profile. So some of you will do, if you can, just do your bash profile. Mine's in my bash rc. So cat dot bash rc bash rc. Can you go back to the beginning of what we do in the map? Yeah. And you'll put in a path variable to yeah, just one second. Put in a path variable for app engine just like this. Okay, so that's what you do for your okay. app engine path variable. And uh, anything else to tell you about that? So this is what I wanted to tell you is um, you're going to do nano dot bash profile. So start out with that. That lets you edit your bash profile. Mine just says go look at bash RC because I took a bash class and this is the way the instructor had to set it up. But um, you could just do yours right in your bash profile. You'll add in, you'll add in this code right there. Okay? So add that in. So there's a question, what directory do I find the bash profile? So just do cd, takes you to your root directory for the user, and do an ls-la, and that's ls space dash la. So enter that command, and then you should be able to look at all the hidden files. You should have one hidden file that's bash profile. If you don't have that, you can still just do nano and put that in, and it's going to create it. But you want that to be in your user area, right? And you get to your user area just by hitting CD, and it takes you to users, whatever your username is. Okay, so now I'm in my back pro. So that's the first step. Install Google App Engine. And we're at GitHub, goes to 11, Golang Web Dev. And we're inside uh, 026 App Engine Deploy, following this README. And so uh, make sure Python is installed. So we're going to make sure Python's installed, and we do that at the terminal. Just go python-v, and it should say 2.7.11. If it doesn't say that, you need to install Python. To install Python, just go install Python, download Python at python.org, and you want to go with Python 2.7. Okay, so that's the Python you want right there. So download 2.7 and install it. 
and then we'll have to configure an environment variable for that. So on a Mac, you don't need to set any environment variables, but on Windows, you might need to set an environment variable saying where Python is located. So next thing we want to do is create a project ID and uh, create a project and get the project ID. So we're going to go to Google Cloud Developer Console. So just type, you know, Developer Console, Developer Console, Google, and Google Cloud Console. And once you're here, you'll create a new project ID. So create a project, and then you'll get some sort of an ID. And uh, just grab that ID, and uh, you'll be off and running. So I'm in Google Cloud Platform. What was that again? I need to get it too fast. So you go to Google Cloud uh, Platform, uh -huh. and then choose Create Project ID. right up here and then you'll get that project ID cool so we created our project ID and uh, and now we need to uh, update the app YAML with your project ID so we got to learn a little bit about how do we configure go to serve on app engine so app engine uses a main file which means we cannot use a main file. So we could have a file named main.go. Sorry, I was saying file, but we can't have a main function. So we need to use func init. And we also don't use listen and serve, right? It runs listen and serve for us. So all we have to do is register our handles and handle funks with the default serve mucks. And we do that HTTP handle and HTTP handle func. And uh, so here I'm just handling anything that comes in, and I'm just serving the entire directory, right? So that whole directory will get will get served. So I need to have this is what my main will look like, and then I need a app YAML, and it's just a configuration file. You don't have to understand this; it's not rocket science or anything. Uh, <laughs> and so I'm gonna right here. I've got a temp one, and I've got a learning one and once everything's deployed I could go see what is actually deployed there right now by just doing that and then going to that project ID and uh, and putting in dot dot com and so that's serving on the web at that URL which is pretty cool and then if I wanted to I could go into Google domains and inside Google domains I'd sign up and uh, and then in there I could just say where what what domain what's the DNS information and everything for this domain the IP address and all that and a files and all you have to do is say you know what serve whatever's at this app engine project ID to this domain so it's really easy to set your oh man I just closed all of them set your domain to do that so let's um let's uh to deploy it, let me bring that back up. To deploy, cool, everything came up. So we have to have app YAML, and we have no main. We just do func init, and we don't have to do listen and serve. It does it for us. All we have to do is register our handle and handle func with the default serve mux. And then we use this command right here, and that uploads it and you replace this right there with your project ID and that uploads it and then you could view your project at this domain right there so let's all do this we're going to create a new folder. well I don't want to create a new folder there but I'll do it in temp so inside temp I was doing this basic deal right here right and so I'm just gonna make a copy of that Make that zero one. Close all this. All right, I'll keep X. I'm going to put all this in zero one, and then I'm going to copy this zero two, and I want this to be deployed to App Engine. So inside main, I need to get rid of listen and serve. Bye bye. 
I need to get rid of main. Bye bye. All right, and now I've got handle funk, handle funk, handle. It's going to go to foo. It's going to go to bar. Right when this asks for assets, it'll assets. It'll strip that and serve it from public. That all looks pretty good. So now I need an app YAML file. So I'm just going to copy this one right here. Command C and drop it right there. App YAML. Sounds like the zombies have come back. Somebody banging on the door. Let me in. And that's my app YAML. So now it's just temp 41 whatever that. I'm going to deploy to that. And the first time you deploy, it will ask you for credentials. So what's deployed there is Summer Boot Camp. That's kind of nice. Remember that, Nina? I do. I deployed that just to uh, get an image of it. I sure like that. That was such a nice, nice event. Yeah, it was. Ray's got such a positive vibe to him. Just check out that warmth. I really like Ray. Yeah, Ray's a cool dude. So uh, now we're ready to deploy this. So I need to go there on my terminal. So I need to go I into... A, I have a, I mean, I can't type all that in at time. I was supposed to be typing this. No, no, just you're watching me right now, and then I'm going to walk you through it. So now I'm going to go to Documents, my Go Workspace, my Source, GitHub, sort, Source, uh, GitHub, isn't that what's next? LS. Yeah, no, oh, I forgot. I now have GitLabs in there. Uh, wow, somebody really wants to get in out there. GitHub, source GitHub goes to 11, and this is in Golang Web Dev 0, 0, 0, and it's 39, and it's 02, and so there's everything, and now we're ready to deploy this. So, I go get this deal right there. I'm just going to drop it in my terminal. I need to get my project ID. So there's my project ID. Remember, you get that from Google Cloud Developers Console. I put that right there. I'm just putting it there to work with the string. And now I'm going to bring this back to my terminal. Drop it in. You ready for the magic? It's kind of a crazy command. It just deployed it all. Now it's asking for permissions. I'm going to pause the video in case there's something crazy permission-wise. All right, so all it says authentication flow is complete. And now it has something about authentication, OAuth. I'm going to be blocking all that out. Cool, so now I'm deployed, so I can come here, refresh, hello gophers, right? And I also had, I had bar, and bar runs, and it serves an image. Are you excited? I'm excited. 